All right, guys. So this meeting is okay. about, I believe, uh, creating some sort of legislation that gets uh, traditional artists that are working on canvases, uh, 3D art, digital art, uh, paid similar to uh, music artists, right? Correct. Yeah. Nice. Can you speak up, please, Ruby? Yep. That's exactly what this meeting is about. Hell yeah. Uh, whenever you're ready, Ruby, I don't know if you got a presentation or if you want me to kind of kick this off, uh, you know. Um, well, basically, if you do look at the book, um, and if you guys don't have a copy, please let me know. Um, basically, this is just a kind of portfolio of artist studios, artists that we have currently, uh, that allowed me to put it in a print format. Some artists within the studio do not want any kind of uh, art printed, <laughs> per se, because it's, you know, theirs and theirs alone, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah. So... Just the, the overview is basically my company is trying to basically when I opened it, I wanted all the freelance artists in, in Los Santos to have basically all the opportunities and the tools that they needed. So from day one, when I got into the city, I found out about this server's office and I wanted office space for myself, but I couldn't get one for me as a freelancer. So that's why I ended up making the company. So from that I've basically tried to bring as many artists as I could into uh, the company and basically give them the tools that they needed. Oh, I love that. So if you just go through and look through the book, you can see like the vast array of like work that the overall the company has done. We have logo designs. We have visual yeah. arts. Uh, we have portraits. We have pocket items, graffiti sprays, liveries. You name it, we got it. You know, kind of thing. Yeah, you have an so. arsenal of artists. This is insane. <laughs> yeah, we have oh my 30, god uh, different artists in uh, in the oh my company god from all walks of life. Uh, we have people who work at DOC. We have a lifer. Uh, Winifred Doe, she's uh, kind of in the middle of the book. She's got two uh, portraits uh, that she made while in, inside Bolingbrook. Um, and then we have oh my you know, God. Like other people like Stevie and um, Finn who are in gangs and stuff like that. And they're very proud of it. And they make art for, for their uh, people as well. So it's been... A vast array of, of people, and I don't care which walk of life you are in. I don't care. I just want to see your art. So, Hell yeah. Um, yeah. That's pretty much all I've been doing is uh, trying to get the supplies to the uh, people, in the freelancers in the city, and get them the, the supplies and the networking that they need. Okay, so what, so what do you think you'll need? Is it just purely funding? Um, well, right now we have... Uh, nothing. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So, so we have a storefront and we're working on it, right? Um, we finally got in contact with uh, the factory. There was some confusion originally because they thought that we were only going to be selling uh, portraits and pictures and stuff like that. However, nobody really wants that kind of thing as a pocket item because they would want it hung up on a wall. So it is not really a sellable thing here in the city. Something that's really sellable is more something like collectibles. So we're going to be doing more collectibles and stuff like that. Um, so the other side of my uh, storefront that we're doing stuff with it on the back side is going to be a sculpture museum. So it kind of gives the artists of the city something to do while they're here since there's no, uh, gallery anymore. Put a paintings in a home or a storefront. Oh my god! If you could do that, be insane. Show the rest of the city what we can do. Uh, that's kind of like the next best thing. So, and I'm sure you can't, you know, get us a place like that. So, <laughs> you know what would be Honestly, insane is if you could put the art on a canvas that I could then buy and put it in my house. That'd be yeah. so sick. Yeah. Oh, well, I've heard that request by probably. A dozen people if not more um even people within the last administration have asked me about that and i said yeah if you can do that sure uh but there's really no way um that i can see uh that that can happen without some uh 
help from the Senate? Well, uh, I can definitely speak to the Senate um, about some ideas. I think the first thing we do is what we can do right now, and what we can do is uh, straight up. I'll give you ten million dollars uh, to the company, and hopefully that can help with funding and uh, you know making. The artists uh, feel like they're getting paid what they deserve, even though I feel like they should get paid, uh, you know, universal dollars personally. But, uh, I mean, if they're cool with, uh, you know, Los Santos currency as well, then a uh, $10 million grant is already approved. Awesome. Uh, that would go quite far, honestly. <laughs> because one of the things that we're going to be doing is also selling, like, portfolio books and stuff in uh, the storefront. So then that'll help with the cost of that and uh, getting additional things for uh, that so then the artist can make additional money. Yeah, no, consider that done. Um, and then with Tim, we can maybe write out some legislation that gets these artists paid into similar ways that uh, you, know, the mus you know the music artists get paid as well. I don't know how you would structure mm -hmm. that, but maybe Tim could look into it. Yeah, he can look at the how the music one is structured and they get paid by royalties. So it's gonna be a bit different because how the music one is paid is they, um, they look at each song that is um, released from artist and um, mm -hmm. how well the song does on the radio or something. And then they get um, money on top of that. So we can work out something similar to maybe the amount of artwork that is purchased or the amount of artwork that people produce and structure this a similar way. Mm. Yeah, and I can work closely with you to hammer out, you know, the exact specifics of uh, what you'd want to end up seeing in that type of legislation. Yeah. I know like uh, one thing like the audio artists have and their studios have is like a ticket system. It would be awesome if we could actually have that inside of our storefront or something. Just like we could sit in the storefront, uh, sit at our desks and start making art in there while, you know, still getting paid by this. Ticket. Wait, artists have a receipt system and they get royalties? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. If you oh, go yeah, to we... Chang and you sign in to like sit there and record or write music, yeah, you get a ticket system and then uh, just like a restaurant, but then also paid from the royalties on the radio. Yeah. Oh and no, we, de like... we definitely got to do this for the uh, for, uh, for the traditional artists as well. I mean, fuck yeah, we got to do that. What the? Mm -hmm. uh, I want to cry. <laughs> Oh my god. Now I got to I got to figure out what to do with the money. Oh my god, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs>